Hello, everybody, and welcome to Design Coffee Break. I'm Lisa, and I will be your coach today. The idea behind Design Coffee Break is that we show you how to use a post my wall tool that you might not be familiar with in about the same amount of time as it takes to enjoy a hot cup of coffee. So warm up your cup and let's get going. Today's topic is make your graphics pop with animated text. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia today, and Audrey is who will be answering you in the comments is in the San Francisco Bay Area. So who wants their marketing graphics to really command attention and stand out from your competitors? You now, using Toast to My Wall templates is a great first start, but the competition is still fierce. So today we're going to show you a Post to My Wall feature that will ensure that your graphics do stand out, and that is text animation. So text animation, which we also call our text slideshow tool, will enable you to have your copy you can fly in, rotate, change color, change copy, and more. So I'm going to show you an example quickly to give you an idea what this is. So you can see where it says hungry. And then it goes to saying room service. And then it says what extension to dial. So that gives you a basic idea of what we're going to talk today. All right. So that means with just a few clicks, you can put your message into motion. And as we go, I'm also going to share six pro tips that will help save you time and make it easier when you're using the post from my wall editing tools. Some quick reminders. First of all, stay till the end. We do have some bonus content for you, including a worksheet that will help you if you're doing a complicated text slideshow to help you figure out what text occurs when and where. Um, do share this with anybody you think might be interested. And the video will stay up on our Facebook page. So it might be great to come back later and maybe open up to Windows so you can practice um, and make make a slideshow along with us. The slideshow we're going to share today will be in the bonus content. So that would be a great opportunity to practice and master this skill. Also, we're going to be sharing a lot of templates that already have animated text that you just have to customize. If you have any questions as we go today, put them in the comments. If we don't answer live today, we will answer you in the next couple of hours. So what we're going to do today is we're going to learn how to take a static template like this and turn it into something with multiple animated elements like this. All right, and once you learn these skills, you can do some really complicated special effects. And um, I think your customers are gonna really enjoy this. So the first step is to select a template that you wanna animate the text on. Now, some of our templates already do have animated text and animated video and photo slideshows. Um, and then you just have to customize the content, but I'm gonna show you how to take a template that does not have animation and add it. So I'm gonna start with wood fired. All right, so I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna note everything about it because I wanna replace it with the exact same copy only animated. So I'm noticing the, the font is outfit, it's bold, it's 90 points high, it's right justified, it's aligned top, line height 95, letter spacing five. You might even wanna take a screenshot of that. Um, and pro tip one is to just drag it over, don't delete it yet, so that if you need to check back while you're making your new copy to make sure you're matching, you can do that. So to create a text slideshow, you go under text on the left and then click add slideshow, third thing down. And so it'll add this text. And you can see here, this is animated. I are, we already, we've already animated in 20 minutes in order now just to keep the demo moving so you don't have to see us do all the little pieces. Anyway, so you, first, you cust first you would customize your copy. And then we're gonna go back. And as I said, we can look here and see what, it's, what everything is if we need to, but we know, we know that the font was outfit. And let's see, we know that it was bold. We know that it was 90 points. I think that's right. Yes, 90 points. I have it all written down. My cheat sheet, we want the tech to be white. And we go back and we know that the alignment was, up. actually it was right justified. 
And up top here, we're gonna take this down to 95. It's the line height, the, sp the space between the lines, and then the letter spacing, whether there's a little extra or a little less space between the letters. So you can see that looks a lot like that. And now we just have to rotate it and slide it into place. And we are good to go. And now you can go ahead and delete the other copy. So once you've got your slideshow, if you click on, you click on the text and you can see over here on the right, it's got an intro delay of zero. I'm gonna go ahead and put one. We're gonna delay it coming in. Um, and then we've got the copy that says wood fired. I'm gonna add the other copy. And to do that, you just click below here. If you wanted to put a, a photo or a video, there's options there, you can play with that. But today we're just gonna do text. So click T and it gives you another slide. And that says handmade. And then we're going to click another one. And it's going to be extra cheesy. All right. So we've got our slideshow all set up. Um, got each one for three seconds. And then I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a, 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 an effect. It's going to come down here. Okay, it's a transition. I'm going to tell it to, well, I'm going to leave it on fade for now. But I would encourage you to come down and look at all these transitions and speeds because this is a great way. We'll, we'll do a little bit more on that later. That is a great way to make your template more interesting uh, by playing with those. So I want to show you one thing. Go back here. Now, if your copy disappears, what you can do, if you want to grab that, because when you see it, you, it's not going to grab. What you can do is you can push play down here on the left. And then it's, when that appears, you can click on it. So that's how, if your copy disappears, to get it. All right, our next, we're gonna do our yellow copy over here. And um, I'm gonna do what I did before. I'm gonna just, oh, don't want both those items, just want one. So I'm gonna move Flaming Hot over here. And pro tip number three is if you have two very similar pieces of copy, it's the same font or the same style or whatever, the easiest way to do it rather than starting from scratch is to duplicate. So I'm gonna right click, oh, here we go, right click, and I'm gonna click duplicate. And you can see it made me a second set. So I'm gonna drive, drag one of them over here and turn it, turn it to the right angle. All right, so now we just have to customize that and it has, Going to move that over so I can get at it. So we've got the exact same thing. Now we know that this text, this text needs to be yellow, and that it is. Go back to the menu, and that this one's going to be left justified. I'm going to make that a little smaller. And you can see we've already put that in there um, and it is done. Now I'm gonna show you another pro tip. I don't know if you know this, but if you just wanna move something a tiny bit, if you just use the arrow keys, I don't know if you can see that, but it's moving up, now it's moving right. With the arrow keys move it just one pixel. If you want it to move 10 pixels, what you need to do is hold down the shift key and you can see that it jumps. So. This is a way to, if you want to really fine tune where something is lined up, you can just use the keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to move that over. Okay. So now I'm going to add my copy here. The first one was wood fired. And now the second one is flaming hot. All right. And the third one, instead of extra cheesy, is extra spicy. Oops. And you can see that you can you can edit either on over here on the right or in in your actual text box. You could also do that. All right. Now, one thing I want to show you that if you want to go back to any of the previous, you just click. Um, and you can see wood fired is formatted correctly. Flaming hot is still as it was before. So what you do 
This is another pro tip. Number five is you click on the one that's formatted correctly, which in this case is wood fired. And then you scroll down and there's this thing that says apply these styles to all text, text slides in this slideshow. So you click apply. And then when you go back up and scroll through, they're, they're, all, they're all fixed. Oh, and wood fired wasn't supposed to be wood fired. That was supposed to be, let's see. Like flaming hot, extra spicy, and special sauce. Now these are in the wrong order. So on the right, if you want to move slides around, you can just pull and drag. And let's see, we'll make this one a little, we want this one to come in after the other one. So we'll put a delay of two. And then we've got these threes. Um, okay, so pro tip, final pro tip number six is to play around with your transitions. Um, I'm gonna show you what this looks like right now, and then I'll show you what we can make it look like by playing with the transitions. So right now, All right, so that works. You can have things flash and slide down, but you can play with it and see if you get something you like better. Um, so what I'm gonna do on the yellow text, gonna move this over here on this yellow text, I am gonna change that to one that is called peak. What are we doing? Okay, peak left. Peak left, medium speed. And wood fired, we are going to change that one to peak right. Also at mediums, also at medium speed. So you can see now when we play those, they kind of slide in, which which I think looks a little better on this design. I mean, the right choices are gonna you're, are up to you. Obviously, you can do infinite number of combinations. All right, so. Now, what if you're working out and you want to work it out and you say you want it to say order now first, and then you want it to say, um, you know, then you want to say wood fired, and then you want it to say, then it, oh, we can get rid of this flaming hot, didn't do that before. Then you want it to say flaming hot, and then you want the in 20 minutes, and you want to choreograph it perfectly. What you do is you make a spreadsheet, and this is your download. Um, you can download this, and then if you make a copy of it or Download it as Excel, you can get rid of our copy and put your own. So you can see we have a column for each of the text pieces so that we can see. So we want, or, okay, you start with zero on the seconds. That's important because that's, that's what is there when you already come up. So we've got order now to show up right away. And we wanted to say wood fired was, was second in. You want another two seconds delay for flaming hot and then another second delay for the in 20 minutes. And then you can see that even though we have wood fired and flaving hot staggered, we want to have handmade and extra spicy come at the same time and extra cheesy and special sauce at the same time. So what I do is I look for order now and okay, it's got no delay and the thing's running for, I count, you count the number of spaces. So even though this is line 10, it's actually 11. So we go back here. Move it to there. So order now. All right. So the intro delay was zero. And we want it for 11 seconds. Okay. So next we'll do the in 20 minutes. And again, we see that that's one, two, three, four second delay. And then it's up for uh, seven seconds. Okay, so four second delay and in seven seconds. Handmade. Oh, that should be wood fired. The first one will be wood fired. Okay, so it's a so it's a delay of one second and then five seconds and then three and three. It's a delay of one second, five seconds. Oops. Five seconds, three and three. And let's get this one extra spicy. Check back on my sheet. Okay, two seconds of uh, one, two, three seconds of delay. And then every three seconds. So we go to three seconds of delay and then three, three seconds for each of them. I'm gonna go ahead and save it. All right, so now we get this.
All right, pretty cool, huh? And again, you can play with the speeds things come in and what their transitions are and, and just have a lot of fun and make it however you want it to be. So who is excited to start using our Post to My Wall slideshow tool now? I hope everybody is. Um, so if you think these tools, if you, if you use these tools, um, please let us know. If you tag at Poster My Wall on Facebook or Instagram, we will notice and we do share, we do repost some of the best designs on our, on our website. And then we promised you some bonus content. So Audrey's gonna share that link. And you can see here is the bonus content. We have a link to a tutorial on how to it put a put a slideshow in if you want to just visit a very quick quick recap of how to just put in one slideshow element, and then this download is for this worksheet, which again you can customize for your own designs. But if you want to do things where you have things coming in, I mean, I've I've seen templates where things are coming in right and left. Let me let me see if I can find one of those to show you on the bonus content. Um, you can do some really sophisticated things. So. Anyway, so all of these templates here, they all have um, they all have slideshow elements. So go through them. They are pretty cool. And they also have video slideshows, but it's all set up for you. So just download them and let it go. I'm going to show you. I'm going to open this one because this one I love. Um, it has music, so excuse me, it's loud. But this gives you an idea of how sophisticated you can get with all of the slideshows. So do download these and reverse engineer them. I think you'll be really excited with what you learn how to do. Uh, and now if you're interested in adding photos and video slideshows, we have a tutorial right here, tell your story with our slideshow tool. We have some other classes with you think would be interesting or click browse all classes. You get the whole menu. Now we promised you a promo code. So this week that promo code is animate30. So anybody who has never subscribed to Poster My Mall before, if you get a premium or premium plus subscription, it is 30% off um, either for a, a month or for, for an annual subscription. Or if you upgrade from pay as you go to premium or from premium to premium plus, that's good too. We have 200 of these and they are going to be good until March 15th. So if you want to use that, go ahead and do it. Um, and the animated text, when you download it, it is a, it is a, actually it's a premium plus feature because it's a video. So what you may want to do is upgrade to premium plus just for a month, create a whole bunch of videos and animated text copy. Uh, and then you can go back the next month to regular premium. So give it a try. Please do share this with anyone who would be interested. And the video is staying here on Facebook. And if you want to see all of our tutorial videos, you can go to our YouTube channel and Audrey is going to paste that link in the comments too. So our next free class is going to be next Wednesday, which is February 23rd. We're going to have the amazing Monica Farber of Hello Media back to show us how to take great photos and videos of your business on a budget. So it's basically how to make photo and video content yourself on your phone for social media. She's going to show you how to shoot for documentary style, ambiance photos, talking head photos, and product photos. So four different kinds of photos that are really important if you want to have content that shows your business online um, and on your website. And she's going to show you everything from you know where to place the camera, what angle, what settings, and how to light it. So that is February 23rd at 1230 Eastern Time right here on Facebook Live. All right. So thank you then from both Audrey and myself. We hope to see you on another design coffee break and uh, hope you have a great day. Thank you for joining us.